finally through the fo- Oh! Oh my gosh! Get away from me, you freak! <sighs> finally made it through the forest. Thought I'd never get- Huh? What? What's that? Is that a- Is that a bank? In the middle of nowhere? What the heck? I mean... Whatever, I guess. I could put my sword inside. Let's check this baby out. Wow, this is pretty swanky. What's going on over here? Hey, oh, hey, hey, you. Greetings, adventurer. Welcome to an experience bank. What the heck's an experience bank? An experience bank is a bank for experience. Oh, you don't say, huh? Oh, but I do. <laughs> yeah, 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 smart guy. Just tell me how it works, okay? It's real simple. First, just take this key. All right, then what? Now take the key and go inside the room and just stand on the chest to deposit your experience. On the chest? Are you yanking my leg? No, he's not. Oh, um, okay, well, I, um, <sighs> I guess I'll go in then. <clears throat> oh, what's going on here? It's like the experience is being sucked out of me. Am I gonna be okay? Hey, what's going on here? Is this some kind of scam? No. I'm warning you, man. It's an experience prank. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Fine. Well, I didn't trust it anyways. This new fangled technology is messing up everything. I just wish Minecraft went back the way it was. I'm taking my experience and I'm getting the heck out of here. This place is an abomination. And for the record, I didn't have a good experience. Hey, what's going on guys? Like that zip here and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. Say hey guys. Come on. Say hey, I did. Ah, uh, you're just a grump. <laughs> Anyways, yes, welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. It's been a very long time since the last one. I'm excited to get back into these and today I'm showing you a cool way using a little bit of Redstone magic brought to you by Accidental Games, by the way. So if you want to check out their channel, they do some cool Redstone stuff as well. Their link is in the description. But it is a way to actually deposit your experience into ender chests and it is something else so I wanted to explain that break it down a little bit for you so uh, if you guys want to see more stuff like this a rating is always appreciated let's get at least 600 likes on this video for some more redstone videos guys are you excited because I am anyways yes as you saw it is as simple as it seems you simply stand right on top of one of these chests and it starts taking your experience from you now the way it's doing this is using command blocks and using scoreboard objective system so you can see it ticking down you need to have at least one level for it to work properly. It won't take the rest of that little experience at the bottom there. But let me show you what's going on behind the scenes here. You type scoreboard, objectives, set, they spelt that wrong, set display, sidebar, and then XP. And you will see over here you've got Purple Sparks, who I guess is possibly the name of the YouTuber who owns that channel. And you got my own. You see, I have 112 experience. Now, what that does is using the command blocks, which I will show you right over here. Dang it, I gotta fly again. What am I going crazy? So right down here, and first of all, what the heck is going on here? It's all messed up. The blocks, they're like not showing through. This is some of the creepiest stuff I've ever seen. But right down here is all the command blocks making all this magic stuff happen. And what I want to show you is how this all this stuff works. I've even got a little ender chest here for demonstration purposes so I don't have to go all the way back up to the top. But over here you can see this is the very simple uh, act of making this all come together. This is the simple redstone clock. So you just put that down and that's going to get a constant signal available to power the rest of these blocks. Now over here I think this block is the one that is going to set and remove your experience. So you've got the execute and blah blah blah. All these commands will be in the description by the way. And then you've got this one as well as what adds the scoreboard objective which is what you can see on the right here. Right now you, you wouldn't normally be able to see it. So you would not be able to do, you don't have to worry about anything like that on your servers. Now what it does is this one tests for if you are on top of a ender chest. And I believe you can set these to regular chests if you wanted to. But basically you stand right on top of it, you'll see it goes off and it'll start setting off. See watch. Oh wait, I need to get my experience for a second. See, this, I'll explain what's going on here in a second, but that's basically giving me all my levels back, which if I can, ah, I just missed it. Anyways, we go right up to the top here, you'll see that it gets set off and it starts making this contraption go off and I'll explain how in a second, but notice every single time I lose a level, my experience counter goes up. Now what is going on here is that basically you've set a scoreboard dummy objective so whenever you've got levels and you stand on top of a chest, it gives you a certain amount. There is a certain amount of experience 
in each level. Like, for example, I think it's seven experience to get to level one, and then it's nine to get to level two, 11, and then once you're, it starts going every five instead of every three, and then etc. So uh, it's designed to, um, I guess I'll just go back in the game mode so I can fly around and show you. So each one of these blocks over here is an individual one that detects what level you are. So this one detects if you're level level one and a level minimum of one. And this one, for example, is level four. We've got underneath here, what do we got under here? We got level 30, or <laughs> that is, oh wow, this is a big long one. Yeah, level 23. So all the different levels are represented here. You could really do it for as long as you wanted to in order for it to detect levels over 30. It will still detect levels over 30, but that at, point, at that point, you're kind of wasting your experience. So this is not something you want to do um, if you have over level 30, unless you set enough command blocks to, you know, make it worth your while. Um, but at, at that point, if you're, if you're trying to gain levels over level 30, because it gets so much harder to get experience levels each time, you're kind of just wasting your time. You'd want to use this bank, in fact. So um, that's actually really how the redstone works. It's, uh, it's just testing if you're on top of this, and when you're on top of it, it takes away your levels. And then when you, when you stand under it, it de detects it again, and every single time you're underneath it, it slowly gives you your game mode levels back. You can see it filling up. It is some wild stuff, and the best part about it is it is 100% multiplayer. It will work regardless of uh, what levels the other person has. If you have 10 levels and they only have 7, you'll still get your 10 levels if you stand underneath it, and they'll still get their 7. But... Let's give one last look to this as we say goodbye. That was it for this Redstone video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, a rating is always appreciated. I'm excited to be bringing more Redstone stuff. And again, if you guys have any suggestions of what you want me to do, then make sure you leave them in the comments. But other than that, guys, we will catch you later. Thanks.